let's look over here at the derivation formula for an area of a parallelogram you know the area from geometry is equal to base times height how do we derive it we will use integral calculus start here with a point zero comma zero origin i have a point here zero comma h a y-intercept h represents a height i have a point here minus b comma zero b represents your base of your parallelogram h again is your height of the parallelogram come over here b comma h because i've gone b units out in this direction connect these points when you connect them you have demonstrated a parallelogram it will have two triangles of equal area this triangle area is equal to that i will only capture and calculate one triangle and now multiply it by two to capture the area of this other triangle how will i create my integral i have here a two sitting outside a lower limit your origin zero upper limit this everything here along the x-axis zero to b again i'm focusing only on this shaded triangle I need to have this function and I need to have this function. The function on the top is a horizontal line going through 0, comma h. That right there, yt, your top function is equal to h. My yb, my lower function or my bottom function is this diagonal line going through the origin. It has a slope what? 0, comma 0 to b, comma h. You know the slope here is going to be h over b. You know that equation will be h over bx because there is no y-intercept. It's the origin. I have this. My formula here is a top function minus lower function or bottom function. H minus HX over B, DX. Your variable here to integrate is X. So you will integrate that. Everything else is a constant. When you do your antiderivative, you have a HX minus HX square over 2B. You have upper limit B, lower limit 0. This is meaningless. Just put B in places of X. I have a 2HB. Let's improve this h so it looks more like a h, not a b. 2 times hb minus hb squared over 2b. When you simplify this, what are you going to get? You'll have here a half hb. I have a full hb minus a half hb is equal to half hb. I'm seeing here 2 times a half hb. When you simplify this, what are you going to get? You'll get your area. Area here is going to be equal to base times height. I'm just writing the b first and the h second. But this is going to simplify to HB or BH and the formula is derived.